Good afternoon to you watching us from your home. And welcome to our Tuesday, 5 o'clock service. Today, Barcelona Tuesday is the day of healing, is the day of power here at church. And to talk about the power of God, God with his words, he created everything. He didn't create by hand. But the Bible says God, he spoke. And you see the power of words. Please do have your seats. Thank you, Basalon. Please do stand up. Suguman. You see the words, they make us to move. They direct us. Now imagine when this word comes from God. Imagine when it is God saying to the disease. Get out of her body. Tell me what sickness will remain. None. And the Lord Jesus, he promised. In my name. You will cast out evil spirits. You will do the same works I did and greater ones. Here in the book of Matthew, follow on the screen, chapter 8, verse 16. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed, and he cast out the spirits with what? What did Jesus use? With a word. What seven is easy? Not even words. I'm with a word. One word. And the spirits were cast out. And he healed it all who were sick. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Please, place your hands on your heart. Place your hands on your heart, you who are in your house. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are in your presence. And as you promised, in my name you will do the same works I did and greater than this. So here, we stand in the name of Jesus. And we command right now the disease that is in the body of this person. The sickness that is in the body of this person. The backache. The headache. The ache that she feels all over her body. You spirit of pains. Chronic pains that comes and goes. This person who is from home praying with us. You evil spirit making this person sick. You can hear me now. Leave this body. It's an order. Leave right now the lungs of this person. The infection that is in her lungs. She runs short of breath. You that makes her lung not to function properly. You spirit that is in the blood of this person. They said to her, it's a leukemia. 
You spirit of cancer. This person is praying for a family member who is hospitalized. And it might be for the medicine, there is no hope that this person will be cured. For the medicine, what they are doing is to give her treatment, but there is no hope for her. Right now, I command you, Spirit, leave the body of this person. Now with your hands on your heart, repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, as it is written, Jesus took my infirmity and he bore my sickness. I refuse you sickness. I command you now, release your hands, say, get out. Now place your hands on your heart again. We are going to display on the screen the name of Jesus. You are going to see the name of Jesus. Now open your eyes. Receive your healing right now. Close your eyes. Determine now that you are free. Use your faith now. Baba ekameni liga Jesu Kristo si abapili sabando na baaku abakula yobaya pi lanjenga manje lonongo si ame oguti wenga la lebu sungu kenga yobu sungu kenga yena kambo mabapi lanjenga manje ekameni liga Jesu my God with just the name of Jesus right now we determine healing from any kind of disease my God with your word they are healed they are free from every evil from every sickness in the name of Jesus. We determine, my Lord, your people free. As my Lord, with a word, you cast out evil spirits. You healed it all who are sick. Right now, healing, Bazalwani, comes upon you. You watching us wherever you are. You praying for a family member who is sick. Healing comes upon him right now. Receive your healing. Open your eyes. Look at the name of Jesus and receive now your miracle. Everybody say amen. Amen. Now check on your body now. You who entered here feeling a pain. You in the house watching Paste your comment there on the Facebook. You are healed. It. Now do what you could not do. You could not move fast, move fast. You were running short of your breath. Now take a deep breath. You could not move your arms. You were feeling pain on your shoulders. Lift up your arms, move your arms around. Just be careful with the person next to you. Is there anybody here when you entered, you were feeling ill, you were having a pain, you were not all right? Is there anybody? Were you having a pain? What were you feeling when you entered the church today? O que, que a senhora estava sentindo quando a senhora entrou aqui hoje? É que eu tenho fera aqui, tive um acidente. You had, you got an accident, you have a pin there. Tenho um fera que me meteram. Agora mexe aí, mexe aí. Por aqui, eu estava sentindo dor até quando. Mexe aí, rapidinho agora, mexe aí, mexe aí. Acabou? Passou. Amém. Were you feeling as well? What were you feeling? I had a headache since yesterday. Since yesterday. After the prayer now? Nothing. Pastor. Amen. Amen. So you are free. Nipibi. And if you, you didn't have a sickness as such, you have another problem. God has delivered you. You are free. This problem that was troubling you out there, believe. Look at your feet now. 
God puts it under your feet. Look at your feet and say, you are under my feet. Please, do have your seat. Now, let us read it together. Book of Judges, chapter 7. Book of Judges, chapter 7. On this month of June, we are calling on those who have faith to see the difference in their lives. Because especially now in this time of the lockdown, in this difficult time that everybody is going through. We have to see the difference of our faith. Do you agree with me? It doesn't make sense for you to believe in God and your life is still remain the same. We don't accept that. And God promised between those who serve him and those who do not again we are going to see the difference. When we say again, food. it's because it happened before. And Gideon with the 300, they made a difference. And what seemed impossible, God made it possible. Imagine in a battlefield, 135,000 men against 300 only. That is impossible to consider the 300 to come out of this field victorious. If we calculate, it is less than 1%. Even the percent And when Gideon was going to make war, 32,000 men joined him. But it is not by the strength of the arm. God said to Gideon, they are too many. Imagine for 135,000, already 32,000 is little. But 22,000 went back. And the 10,000 that remained, God said, I will test them. They are still too many. Those whom I say they will go, they will go. Those whom I say they will not go, they will not go. And in the place where God separated the faithful ones, the picture of your ear is going to be taken this month of June. Due to the pandemic worldwide, if no pastor, no bishop can travel to Israel, we are going to scan one by one of the prayer requests. We are going to email it to the bishop in Israel. But your picture is going to reach there. Please paste there on the screen, the big screen, the, the, the fountain of Gideon. You are going to see there shortly. There it is. Your name, I mean, the picture of your ear is going to be taken there. 
So that is an evidence that what the Bible says is true because the place is still there until today. The fountain of Gideon. Read with me verse 4, chapter 7, verse 4. chapter 7, verse 4. But the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water. And I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say, This one shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whomever I say to you, This one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water. And the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue, as the dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink. And the number of those who leapt, putting their hand to their mouth, was how many? 300 men. But all the, rest of the, all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink water. So, with the 300, God made a difference. Because the 300 had a different spirit. When they were tested, they were approved because they didn't make a try. They were not just taking chances. chance. But they knew the word that God had promised cannot fail. And that must be our faith. The guarantee that your life can change. The guarantee that no problem can be greater than your faith. The guarantee that God is going to honor you. It is here. So if you manifest your faith here, humanly speaking, even what you're going to do, it seems crazy for the world, but you know why you are doing this. Because you don't And you do not stop. What others they think. What others are complaining around. What the situation appears to be. Doesn't matter. Gideon did not complain, but God, I already have a few men. But God is still 22,000 left in me and the 10,000 with me. You want to test them already from few. I'm going to be left with less men. He trusted God. Please stand up. I want to pray for you now. And I want to invite you for you to test the word of God. You are going to put God first. Separating the tithe. You are going to separate from all that comes to your hands. And you who are watching me unemployed. You who are here praying to God to open the doors for you because due to this lockdown, you lost your job. Or you just left your house to come to the church because you do business, but your business is not considered essential. You are still with the doors shut. And you are if you believe what happened to the 300 
of Gideon will happen to you. It was impossible, humanly speaking, for them to overcome. But who promised? The one whom I say, this one will go, he shall go. Who promised? It was God who sent them. And because of your faith in God, if you put your trust, you separate your time, and with your time, you're going to make your test. According to your faith, you're going to separate your offer. And this month of June, this is what you're going to do. You can do it this coming Sunday. You can do it next week, Tuesday. Throughout this month, what God put is inside of you, you go in your faith. Now, please, we are not afraid to say that. If you think we want your money, if you think this is a way the church created to deceive people, Please don't do anything. It must come out of your faith. You have to believe what you are doing. Because what you're doing, it's not for men. You're doing to God. And if you put all your strength here, on the altar, from the altar, in your life, what seems impossible will become possible. One idea God can give to you, your life will change. One door that can open for you because it came from God, this whole situation for you will change. Amen, Please, place your hands on your heart. Think about something that you want to happen in your life. In the meanwhile, we are going to prepare a testimony of tithe. testimony and while you imagine what you want to happen. God is going to give you the way forward. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, this person has in mind what she wants to happen. And humanly speaking, it might be impossible. She knows that she doesn't have condition. She knows that she doesn't have what it takes for that to happen. But we're not talking about the strength of the arm. But we are totally dependent on the power of God. That is why we are challenging your people this month of June upon the word of God to put their trust and separate their first fruits and make their test with they are offering. My God, right now, fill this person with courage. Fill this person with an assurance that no matter what, it is possible. Because she is not doing anything which is not in the Bible. And because of what is written, she can't be disappointed. I bless you all. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, say your prayer to God. You who want to make your test this month of June. You who are watching us. You are going to ask from God. God, tell me what do you want from me? Tell me what do you want me to do? I am ready. Like the 300. Even amongst this quarantine, 
in the midst of this pandemic, I will rise. But I will not look at the situation. I will not consider what is going on around. I decide today to put my trust in the word of God. Go ahead, say your prayer now. Say your prayer now. While you pray, we are going to leave playing now the image of the fountain. Where the picture of your ear is going to be taken this month of June. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We determine, my Father, as the 300, they heard your voice. Let this person who is despised by everybody else, maybe inside of her house, people don't believe her. But my God, she is not here by coincidence. Even if the world don't believe her, you believe her. You see her, my Lord, in a different way. Father, give this person a different spirit. Give this person, my Lord, different eyes, different thoughts. Let your people, my Father, see the difference in their lives. In Jesus Christ's name, now in spirit of prayer, open your eyes. Look at the fountain of Gideon there. Because it is there where God separated the faithful from the unfaithful. And it is there where God is going to separate you to himself. And when God separates someone, he doesn't separate for small things. Amen, Barcelona? God doesn't separate one for small things. In Jesus Christ's name, say, Amen. Please do have your seat. Now, let us watch the testimony. During this pandemic, someone who saw the difference through her faith, through her tithes and offerings. Hello everyone, my name is Lucien Dooley from the Universal Church in Park Station. Um, I would like to really thank God for the amazing work that he's doing within the COVID-19 pandemic. When the pandemic started, I was starting to have the mindset of just relaxing and giving up and saying that my business would be like any other business and I would just run out of sales and business would shut down and I would just be a total loss because of the pandemic. But through my faithfulness of tithes, offerings, participation of the movements of faith through the YouTube channels, Facebooks, praying of our pots. God has been doing wonders within the COVID-19 pandemic. I have been providing meals for my drivers, for my owners, and it's literally growing even more. What surprised me is that today, actually last week, I got a phone call to come and cater for 90 people split into three days. For me, that is the impossible because what company would want catering at a pandemic like this? And God also gave me and gave me an inspiration to start selling face shields for um the COVID-19 pandemic for people who are in the hospitality industry. Today, when we took our order, just as I got there, the lady that was in charge of paying for the order said our face shields were so good and she actually wanted to order 20 of them. So I believe that God is going to open up even more greater doors for me. And through my faithfulness of tithe and offering, I believe that the works of my hands are definitely blessed. Thank you. Amen. Please do we stand up. We are going to make available now here the offering bags. And you who are watching online, we are going to display on the screen now the banking details. You can snapshot the banking details and use it after the service if you are using the same device you are going to use to make your online transfer. Or tomorrow, when you go out, you are going to make your deposit in the bank. Amen, Basalwan. 
So we are going to make our last prayer and finish our service. So when Zagi Mutana Zutri na spreading in Gonzo here too. And because of the restrictions that we are observing all the services, you are going to use my right side and my left side for you to go out. Please, the security, we need to open this other door as well. When you go out, you don't go through the same doors that you enter. Please bow your head. Father, I present to you the offerings, the tithes, the vows, this person who prepared her tithe since the lockdown started. She kept her faithfulness and today, my Lord, she had the opportunity to come to the house of God and she presents today her faithfulness. Receive, my Lord, from her hands, her faithfulness, her offerings. From her hands, she prepared to put in your hands. So as, my Lord, from her hands, she puts in your hands, let what is in your hands to come to her hands as well. And especially, my God, this person who has got nothing, she's here to receive a prayer because she believes her situation can change. My God, I pray that you honor the faith of your people. You bless them all. Bless this person who has nothing today. In the name of Jesus Christ, say amen. Amen. So we are going to have the envelope of tithe here available. You are going to make your offer. You are going to receive then your envelope of tithe. And inside there is this paper here. Where you're going to take a picture that has your right ear. You are going to stick it here. When you bring your tithe with your test, you're going to leave it here. And just before we end, tomorrow Wednesday, it's the day for us to seek the Holy Spirit. How many of you missed to be here seeking the presence of God? You are there watching from home, but now the church is open. And when we reach the limit here in main hall, we have the other halls. And the service is one after the other. Now we are going to finish this service. We are going to sanitize the hall, give the proper time, and still we are going to have more services tonight, today. Tomorrow, 5 o'clock, do not miss the night of salvation. And to finish John chapter 11, verse 26. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. That is above all our trust in God. That our salvation, when we surrender our life, 100% to God, God will not fail us. That's why we go through challenges, tribulations, temptations, but we hold on, we hold on to our faith. Because above all, it is the salvation of our soul. And if you do not have the Holy Spirit, above all, you have to have a priority to receive the Holy Spirit. Last Sunday we had the Sunday of Pentecost. For some, we ended the fasting of Daniel. For others who didn't receive the Holy Spirit, go in your faith, continue the fasting of Daniel. Because above all, you must have this assurance inside of you.
Though I may die, I shall live. We are not afraid of anything. We are not afraid of what is going on out there. Because above all, it's our faith in God. But for you to have this faith, you must have the Spirit of God inside you. Amen. Straight out your hands to the past. I bless all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord our God keep you and guard you. May the Holy Spirit shine his presence upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord our God guard and protect you and your family and keep you for the last day. In Jesus Christ's name we say, Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow, 5 o'clock. You watching us online, have a blessed night. God bless you all. Months ago, many claimed that they did not have enough time to seek God. A lot of work, college, studies, taking care of the house, and so many other commitments. Today, we live in another reality. Closed businesses, schools without classes, and most people at home in lockdown. These days, people have plenty of time and find things to spend their time on. But many people still do not have time for God. What this proves is the reason is not a lack of time, but people's priorities. Human beings waste their lives with things that do not add anything of value. They despise the only one who can give them what they seek so desperately. And unfortunately for many, when they do decide to seek him, there will be no more time. What has your priority been? This Wednesday, join the School of Intelligent Faith Service. This is for those who prioritize their relationship with God and recognize that in order to overcome this world, the most important thing is to have the Holy Spirit, especially at 5 p.m. And also 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 3 p.m. Via Facebook, Marcelo Pires page, YouTube, UCKGARK and Univer Video.